A disaster can seriously impact your organization's operations, whether it's an earthquake, wildfire, hurricane, or human-caused calamity. Prepare for the worst and plan for the best with innovative disaster recovery apps. Next up, we have Nicholas Bayer. Nick is the Public and International Engagement Manager at MSF USA. In this role, he plans and coordinates events designed to highlight MSF's operational activities to the general public, humanitarian, medical, and academic audiences. As a part of his work, he leads the MSF USA Missing Maps Mapathon program. He'll be demoing Missing Maps which is an open collaborative project in which you can help to map areas where humanitarian organizations are trying to meet the needs of people who live at risk of disasters and crises. And hi everyone, I'm Nick Baer, the Public Engagement Manager at Doctors Without Borders based in our New York office. Some of you might know Doctors Without Borders by our French name, Médecins Sans Frontières, or we sometimes say MSF. Uh, so we're an international humanitarian aid organization that provides medical care in over 70 countries around the world. And today I want to talk to you about an, an initiative called Missing Maps. The Missing Maps project uh, was launched in 2014 by four partnering organizations. That was Doctors Without Borders, the American Red Cross, the British Red Cross, and Humanitarian Open Street Map Team. So at the time, these organizations recognized a common problem, which was that our teams working in remote locations didn't have updated or reliable map data. This made it more difficult to respond to emergencies like natural disasters, uh, to set up vaccination campaigns, and to make informed decisions about our operations. The answer that we had was missing maps. And this is a solution that allows supporters of our organizations and members of the general public to volunteer their time to help update OpenStreetMap, which is uh, a map system similar to Google Maps, for example, uh, for those who don't know. And in this, uh, in OpenStreetMap, uh, in, in the Missing Maps program, individuals utilize satellite imagery to essentially crowdsource and update this, uh, this mapping and GIS data. Uh, and so we have three pillars of mapping. You'll see the first pillar, which is uh, called MapSwipe. This is actually a mobile app that you can download on, download on your phone. Uh, and we're basically using this to identify which areas might have buildings and structures and roads that we want to map. So it helps uh, create the projects basically that we'll then use to do the next phase of mapping. So you can see uh, some images of our in-person Mapathon events. Uh, we are now back to doing in-person. We also have some hybrid Mapathon events that we do in virtual Mapathons. These are basically opportunities for uh, staff of our organizations and volunteers in the mapping community to teach others how to do mapping. After those, uh, after people create the edits in the map, we have an experienced team of validators who check the work before the third step, which you'll see on the next slide, and this is what we call field mapping. This is where teams on the ground will verify and add additional useful information like street names and building qualifiers. So for this uh, mini demo, I'd like to focus on the second part of mapping, which uh, is done through the humanitarian open street map tasking manager site. And this is where most of the magic happens. Uh, first, you would set up an account. Uh, and you would complete a training. We have trainings available on the site, or like I mentioned, you could join one of our mapathons and we help you sign up and we teach you how to do this um, and learn how to map. You can see here, uh, when you go to the tasking manager site, there are many different projects you could map. The one that I am demonstrating for you here is um, in support of teams who are responding to the recent earthquakes in Syria. So you would come here, you get some instructions on what is the objective, what we're trying to map, and then you would uh, contribute there at the bottom, right? You can go to the next slide, Bailey, so you can see what this, this looks like. So when you get in here, you can see the satellite imagery is there in this little pink box. That's the task that each individual would be mapping. Um, and you're essentially tracing over the satellite imagery, the buildings and the roads and things that you uh, are contributing to the map. Then you upload those edits to the system, the validators check it, and then it turns into actual maps. So you can see there just a little bit of a quick view of the, what the tasking manager looks like. And before I wrap up, I just wanna show you that the impact of our work. So I have three more quick slides to show you. Um, you'll see a, an example of a map in an area of Nigeria that was before there was a mapathon event, before there was a project focusing on this area to update those maps. On the second slide, you'll see just how much detail was added 
uh, to that map. So you can see it's so much more detail. Um, and then the third one I wanna show you is a real tool that the MSF teams used then to set up operations nearby and in this specific refugee camp. So using the satellite imagery, using the volunteer time from the contributors, we really were able to actually have so much more information that could then be verified and used by the teams on the ground. So what can you do? You can join us. Uh, so our next virtual mapathon is actually on March 16th. So it's right in a good time. And I'll put the registration link in the chat if anyone's interested to join. But you can also make an account on the tasking manager or you can download the open or you can download the map swipe app on your mobile as well. Um, in case you want to teach yourself how to map, it is quite easy to do. And um, I always like this as a program for our organizations because it's one of the only things that someone can do to actually contribute to the operational work that we're doing, other than following us on social, you know, donating to us, uh, joining our team, things like this. And this is a really great volunteering opportunity for folks. So I hope that you will all uh, check it out. Thanks so much.